Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to be talking about the MAC filter and what it is, how it works. Specifically, I will be doing this in ASUS RTAX82U router, but uh, the case is the same with all different routers. The MAC filter, how it works, is basically the same concept. Okay, so before we start, first I'm going to explain what MAC address is. So MAC address is a unique ID for each uh, wireless or hardware uh, internet uh, network adapter or network wireless network cord or internet accessing hardware. Anything that accesses a network doesn't necessarily have to be a net uh, internet. It could be local network. Each item uh, or each hardware ha has a MAC address and uh, these MAC addresses are embedded to the hardware and they come from the factory and some devices they even print it out on the actual out outer casing or at the bottom of the hardware to tell you what the MAC address is because uh, that's exactly how you identify each device in your network from their MAC addresses. Uh, MAC addresses are unique worldwide so one MAC address on a cell phone does not exist uh, on in another cell phone worldwide there is no two just like just like dna it's j dna of that hardware it's completely different for each hardware no two are identical worldwide uh, Ma uh, mac addresses are given a unique ip address for each mac address the router assigns a unique ip address and usually the local uh, area network or all LAN has IP addresses that starts with 192.168. something. something, and that the last two sets of numbers will be uh, different in a local network, while the 192.168 will be usually the same. Now you could assign a unique IP address uh, to each MAC MAC address yourself. If you do port forwarding, but that's a different story. We're not going to talk about that right now. But uh, right now, we are talking about how to use MAC filter, what MAC address is, and the way the reason each item has its own MAC address is to identify and differentiate one item from from another item. For example, the router. If you're accessing something from the internet, the router needs to know to which computer or which device to send the requested information and based on the MAC address it will send it to that uh, particular information and uh, based on the MAC address the router will assign you IP addresses when the main IP address of your of your entire household is one thing but the IP address for each device is different people from outside world will not see your indiv independent IP addresses uh, that's uh, after the router they only see the IP address of the router itself, which is your main IP address that has been provided for you by your ISP or, or Internet Service Provider. Okay, so let's get started. Here we have the main screen of Mac Filter. So basically, when you log into your router, you, you just log into the router and you go to advance and you go click on wireless. We already had a video about general WPS, WDS. This is about wireless MAC filter. Wireless MAC filter is basically um, the two types. One is to allow a list of devices. The other one is to block list of devices. You have to choose which functionality you want to choose. And you have to choose which network you want to choose it for. So let's say we want to add MAC filter in 5 gigahertz. We click on yes. Yes means enable MAC filter. Now the MAC filter mode is accept. What does this mean? That means every item that you add in the list, for example, you click on the down below and you click on this and you add this device. That's added. And you, let's say you click on this and you add this device. And you click on and this one, uh, this guy, and you add that. So now we have three devices added. These are the devices that will be accepted to access the internet 
Anything else that's not in the list will not be allowed to enter the internet. Now, if I want to block these four devices, not accept but block them, then I can only click on reject. Now in reject list, I can add devices. These are the devices that will be rejected. Basically, these devices cannot uh, access the internet because they have been added to the blacklist. So when you are uh, uh, choosing reject, this will be your blacklist of devices not to connect to the internet. When you are allowing accept, these will be devices that the, the devices that you will add will be the devices that will be allowed to connect to the internet. Now, for each network, you could choose the different set of devices. You could block certain devices from 2.4, and you could block out certain devices from 5 gigahertz. If you have a phone or, or, or another device that constantly connects to 2.4 gigahertz, when it should connect to 5 gigahertz, you can add that device to the 2.4 gigahertz blacklist, so it doesn't connect to the 2.4, but only connect to 5. That's another way to use it. And of course, the most important thing of all is that if you don't recognize a device, if you see a MAC address of a neighbor that is not supposed to be in your devices, then you could uh, block that from accessing the internet. Again, remember that if you choose MAC filter mode as accept, the list of the devices are the basically the green list. The green list means all the devices that can go on the internet. If you click on reject, the list of the devices will be the blacklist. There are the devices that will be denied accessing the internet. So those are the things that you need to understand. And, you know, basically, um, that's what Mac filter is. And I'm also going to making, uh, will be making additional videos about additional features of this amazing router because it has so many features for each tab I'm gonna make a separate video so the videos are not very long so please make sure to like and subscribe thank you